06. Going dark. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Trapang. Uh, it is me, Zeus, bringing you guys uh, the next part. This is Site 83. Um, this is going to be the third time I've played through this level because I forgot to record the first one. And then the second one, I had my, uh, the second run, I had my mic muted like an asshole. So now you guys are, uh, are going to see my third time going through this. You're also going to notice I have uh, different weapons from last time. This audio. I totally didn't notice this on my first playthrough of the game. I mean, like, obviously the first time going through the level, actually, I was thinking I was recording. I told you guys about it. I'm going to turn on infinite stamina for this part, by the way, because, I mean, I have already... I'm also going to... What is this? Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to turn that on, too, just so that I can schmoove. Yeah. Yeah. Because the uh, mask otherwise affects my movement speed, and I've already played through this three times, so I, I totally get if that's, like, annoying for you guys. But, like... Down there. Oh my god! I'm like a bunny. I'm just kicking super hard. I'm literally floating with my kicks. That was so fun. I'm, I'm literally floating. When you jump in melee, you kick. And with the elevator moving down, I was like floating. Look at this. We're just flying, boys. We're flying! That's awesome. Okay, I'll, I'll turn this off as soon as I uh, get rid of my mask, though. You get rid of it later in the level. I don't need to spoil that. I, don't know. I was hoping I'd move faster crouched, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. Um, anyway, here is the picture of a lady I wanted to use last week. Um, last Thursday. I'll, I'll leave a link to that video in the top right right now. I think I've actually linked all of my Ready or Not videos over the course of the last, like, Week so oh my god this is so hard to control okay we're trying to I'll just use the uh I'll just use the fast or the infinite stamina here the the fast is kind of slidey it's kind of hard to explain it's like you're running on ice uh but anyhow um yeah this was the vi the picture I wanted to use of the lady last week but uh, unfortunately I forgot to leave myself a segue so I'll I'll put that right here at the beginning it's just her sitting with a couple of her friends so yeah just being a happy dog at the top of a staircase um. As far as this level goes, uh, it's kind of running simulator for like the first three quarters of it, so I'm trying to kind of fill the, the air here because I don't want to edit through this and like have you guys missing the whole level here, but um, by the same token, I am just kind of running through it. Um, let me know in the comments, by the way, if that got you as well. Uh, it didn't get me the first time. I know that's going to be hard to believe, like conveniently I lost the recording, huh? Uh, but no, I, 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 yeah, I don't jump scare very easily. It's kind of, it's kind of a strange thing. Like if I'm playing a, uh, a different kind of game and then all of a sudden, like, like a, hang on, I'll let this, this audio is funny. That's right, guys. Do not run at 600 kilometers an hour. That's a good tip right there. That's a good tip. Um, no, but anyway, um. Yeah, in like uh, shooter games or something like that, where I just will like chest bump somebody, and I'm like, oh god, it's more like the oh I'm gonna die. That's what that's what freaks me out as opposed to like them being in my face. Um, but yeah, it didn't it didn't really jump scare me the first time. Uh, I uninstalled the game, reinstalled it later to play through it for you guys here. And the second time I played through it, it it, it actually got me a little bit. I jumped a little bit. I wasn't like oh my god. I didn't like throw my mouse across the universe, you know. But it got it caught me. I'll I'll, I'll admit to it. What the hell? It's the fog of war. Oh, Grant, this is. What is up this way exactly? Oh, this is the way I came from. Safety warning: significant increase in recent workplace accidents. There's intel in this room, I think. Just for deaths. anybody wondering. Let me know if that spooked you as well. <laughs> I'm going to turn on off the uh, infinite stamina now because, uh, well, obviously you can't run. It's uh, too loud. I don't know if you can walk, so I'll actually, I'll test that. We'll do, we'll do a little myth busting Mondays. This will be something new for even me. But uh, this whole level gives kind of SCP-type vibes, so uh, 
and with that being said, I actually have a question I want to ask you guys. What is uh, your favorite SCP and why? Like, uh, if you have a favorite SCP, that is. Okay, yeah, you can walk around. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> that uh, that kind of... I was like, oh, okay. That kind of spooked me a little bit. I'll, I'll admit it. I'll admit it. That was pretty spooky. Yeah, I know you can't slide. And apparently, you can walk a little bit. I mean, like, I was walking... Oh, well, was out there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... But anyway, yeah, uh, my favorite SCP, I can't remember which one it is, and also I don't have a ton of experience with SCP outside of, um, what's it called, uh, SCP-5K, the game, but, um, yeah, my favorite SCP out of that game would probably be the, uh, what, what was it, the, uh, it's not the one that's, it's the TVs, the, the television ones that, that like invades you and makes you makes you uh kill your friends and stuff like that that one's that one's awesome to me just because it's like such a good social commentary here where it's like yeah we are so glued to technology imagine if it decided to turn on us like how quickly just everything would go to shit i am okay this is clean this is a clean run so far hold on folks Oh! I didn't have cloak. How the hell did he know I was there? Before I uncloaked. Okay, I am... I am just clean with it. Um... This is blank, so I think that was a, uh... Was a, that was an intel for sure. Oh, this again. Oh! Oh, yeah! You guys are gonna love this. You'll you'll recognize where I ended up soon enough. Um, got tagged up by something. Smells like damp carpet in here. Uh, also, I think this is a reference. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this is a reference to Doom uh, E1M1. The uh, like obviously minus the staircase. But if if you know, you know. If you don't, I, I'm sorry for your lack of FPS games in your childhood. Um. <laughs> But yeah, that was that. That seems like a reference. I'm pretty sure. Also, I, I will explore this stuff just to satisfy everybody's morbid curiosities because there's some parts that I think you can get to, but I'm not sure. Um, I know you can't get back here or back here, but um, there's this place in here which houses nothing, but it's got a big up. You know what I mean? So uh, like maybe there's another door where I could drop in here from. Uh, up top up here doesn't lead anywhere. It's just a thing. Um, that was just a gl casual glass door, by the way. Pretty sure this was an intel. I don't know if you can get back here, but it looks like you should be able to, right? Like, I, I mean, there's even like a body there and everything. Why would they go through the effort for that? But if you go that way, there's nothing. Uh, nothing this way. Um, this is the way to go. What I mean is like, there's not a... That's creepy. Power converter, pure fine wave inverter, Wh whatever that means. I've never stopped and looked at that. That's got to be something you can get to, right? There's, there is no way that you just can't reach that thing. Oh my god! I'm learning. I am finding stuff out. It doesn't do anything, but that is awesome that I was able to see that and actually get here. Now, can I get through there? No, that's actually... It's actually solid. I thought that that was like a gap. Oh, well, you can't get here anyway. Hell yeah. Didn't mean to do that, I meant to do that. Anyway. Uh, let me think. I don't think there's anything else in this, this particular area that... I, I didn't even know you could get up there, so I'm actually kind of glad that I found that. Oh yeah, the this sequence. By the way, to those of you wondering what, I was, what was chasing me, uh, welcome to the club. I'm wondering too. <laughs> it was just like a glowing Anomalous set of eyes. Activity detected. Anomalous. Uh -huh. okay. Lever. Yada yada. Come on, get it done, get it done. Find me. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. Like, if I'm ever sitting with my phone and all of a sudden. Siri hops on that mug and is like, 
find me, the last thing my ass is going to do is go find Siri. There is intel somewhere in here, by the way. I can't remember, but I know that there's intel in there somewhere. So I saw the purple light, and I was like, that's a weird color. That's part. So many stairs. Okay. So now I have a question. Um, why was this turned off, and why was it specifically those uh, the things there? Yahoo. Phantom 2, I don't know how you're alive, because I, I kicked both of you in the scalp. I think there might be intel in there at some point, I'm not sure. Um, I think this is actually the way to go. Oh, never mind. There's no intel in here, because it's the way to go. Creepy-ass camera. All of a sudden... You guys see the shadow people? Flashing on. Grenades needed. Cover it, go! Moving out! Contact! Damn, that was a that was a tight angle right there. I don't know. I mean, I'm impressed with myself there. I, I was in slow motion. That being said, so I mean, I guess minus two. But also, that was a that was a slick shot. All right, what would you guys do if you ever got stuck in the back rooms? I mean, like, I don't know enough of the lore of the back rooms in order to know, like, am I just, do I ever get hungry or, like, tired or anything like that? Or is it just, like, a, am I just there forever? Because I think I'm probably making it, like, five days, and then, uh, shit. That way instead of that way. Odd. Anyway, um, I think I might make it like a week, assuming that I don't get hungry or anything like that, hungry or thirsty or any of that, before like the time, the tedium would kill me. Why did that guy die in one hit? Also, why is his uniform blue? Interesting. Anyway. Also, I just slid backwards into that, but I exited going forward. Interesting. That's not intel. I was like, that's a that would be a good place to hide intel though. It'd be just a blue flashlight on the ground right, like that. Also, what are they shooting at? Because hang on, I need to get this audio. I need to get this dialogue to play. Okay. Hit it again! We gotta destroy this thing! Okay, hit it again. Right? We all heard him say hit it again. Okay. This is gonna be important here in a minute. That's that's a little little thing that we have to remember for later. Because it doesn't make sense when oh, this happens. Oh, we knew he'd be alive. Dude, I'm indestructible. We're trying to destroy this crystal, whatever it's doing it. What the what the fuck? What's happening to the shadow people? Uh, uh, this is also going to explain why I have the grenade launcher now. Um so up here, but there's a legion of shadow people. And it's like, oh, so we need to go to another one. This is grenade launcher. And then we go down to this one, and oh, what do you know? Legion of shadow people. Um, so basically, Subject 83 is this crystal, and I guess it just creates a, a, a shadow army? Question mark? I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what the lore implications are, and or why. If I'm Subject 106, I'm a human, uh, just a super soldier, superhuman. But this thing is a damn crystal that can summon the dead. You know what I mean? Like, what kind of sense? What was the person creating this game smoking? You know what I mean? How was that not? How was that not everyone? And then after you kill all of them, this cool lightning flies over here. 
And it's gonna absorb these people for a second. And then it's gonna go chew. Right? And now I think it's this one here that gets cleared. Yeah. So, um, you'll notice I clear that. I have to come turn this on, right? And then I have to do this two more times, obviously, for the other two switches that I, that I found. Now, what I'm wondering is how, in the first place, my team was able to shoot this thing, right? Because they would have not only had to figure out that they were able to, how to charge this thing, this, this laser here in the middle, right? Because that's what we're doing. Um, but they would have had to have, like, people to, to sacrifice to the, the electricity gods or whatever the hell I'm doing. So it's like, where did they, like, were they sacrificing other uh, syndicate people? Or were they, like, you know what I mean? Like, what were they doing? Because they were shooting at nothing. And they were like, oh, we got to hit it again. This is something I noticed that, that piqued my curiosity. Like, how the hell were you guys even doing anything? Where, where were you guys getting people to feed to this damn thing? I am so surprised that that worked. I'll grab some grenade launcher ammo here. Uh, if I can remember where I found the grenade launcher. You see laser, right hand, right here. I think the last switch is right up here, right? Yeah. And now we can fire my laser. <laughs> but yeah, just kind of funny, funny thinkings to think about where it's like, how did they they ever even damage this thing? Whoa! That's that's actually pretty funny. I've never I've never had that happen to me. I, pr I promise, this never happens. Not everybody? Nope. That was scary. That almost... I am almost dead. We'll grab some healthy bats here. That's kind of funny. I've actually never died on this level before. That was my first ever death. Uh, obviously, when I played on rage mode, yes, I died a shit ton. But um, on just very hard, that is that is the first death I've ever taken. I thought it was... Oh, this isn't even right. Um, yeah, that's funny. I don't know why my grenade launcher missed so much, but eh. I thought I would spawn back here, but that being said, this is like the end of the level, effectively. I know I'm using a lot of uh, grenade launcher ammo here, but it's because I plan on trading this out as soon as I'm able to. Come on, let me pull the lever. So there was that, um, <laughs> kind of an interesting level. I always find it super, like, strange how I just survive these things, and, um, yeah. Uh, so that's gonna do it for this episode. I think next time, so on Monday, like next, uh, Monday, I will be, uh, continuing the series, and I think it's all the side missions before going to the final mission. Um, if that's, like, a lot, uh, as in, like, if the levels are kind of longer because i think all these side missions are pretty long um 
I may just do Monday through Friday. Let me hang on. I'm gonna check this. I'm gonna check this out afterwards. You guys don't care. You're, you're gonna if you guys want to be here to watch it, you will. So uh, yeah, I'll just I'll do that in my spare time. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys take it easy. Peace out.